Welcome back guys to another episode of Pokemon Stadium Round 2. It's been a minute since I've done one of these episodes. So last time we took on bal battles 4 through 6 of the PokeCup Master Ball for Round 2. Today we're going to finish off the entire PokeCup for the entire game, essentially. As we take on the semi-final and final rounds right now. So let's go. Alright, so it looks like we've got the Tamer in the semi-final round. So what I can do is I'll put in Golduck, I'll put in Electabuzz, and then I can round the team off with Jinx. Alright, let's go. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. So he does start with Doug Trio. So just in case he has any funny ideas of switching to Venusaur, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. They strike fighting poses. He's gonna stay in and go for Earthquake. Vigorous attack. A savage hit. That'll be a two shot. So we need a critical or a freeze. Ooh. Like yeah, we don't get it. Fireworks so let's go for Sir. And he's gonna switch. Okay, so he's going to switch to Persian. Alright, so at least I'll get some chip damage on Persian with Surf from the free switch. And... You know what, I think I'm going to switch to Jinx on this one. Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. This is making me wish I put in Gengar on this team. Yeah, Slash is going to destroy me right here. One. Let's try it again. What will the next Pokemon be? Well, let's play it out. Let's see what happens. Each other. Oh, it's How will the type difference affect that? All right, let's go for Thunder Wave. What's that? Nail the weak spot. We're gonna need a lot of critical hits. Thank you, Thunder Wave. Oops, it's paralyzed. The crowd's excitement All right, Thunder Punch. over this hot battle. What's this? There, it's a hit. All right, Persian, get fully paralyzed. No, it's not going to work. All right, let's try it again. What a flash! All right, so we're going to need to put in Gengar, just in case. So I do like the idea of opening with Golduck still, so that's what we'll do. This time we'll put in Gengar, and we'll put in Electabuzz. This is it. Jinx I feel like is too slow and too frail for this match. This so he does open with Dugtrio once again. I'm going to go for Surf this time. I want to see if he's going to stay in. He's going to stay in. Now if we get crit, we're screwed. Ooh, we survived. We might be able to survive oh, another earthquake. Sure. All right, let's let's get it. Whoa, like a bad Pokemon uh, what a furious battle. I think he's gonna switch on this turn, so I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. No, he's gonna stay in. Ooh, we survived with nine HP. We're gonna get the knockout on Doug Trio right here with Ice Beam. And we're gonna have a very narrow one to nothing advantage coming out of the gate so far as we await Tamer's second Pokemon. Let's see who it is. Charizard. This thing's pretty fast. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to leave um, Golduck in because I at least want to save Electabuzz for Charizard and 
They're staring each other down. Gengar for Persian if he's got that. Flame thrower. Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, it's down. All right. Which Pokemon so, is coming out? I'm gonna put in Electabuzz. I'm afraid that he's gonna have Slash. But if we can get off the Thunder Wave, we should still have a slant, a, a, a chance. He does have Slash, and we do survive at 51 HP. So we're gonna go for Thunder Wave and slow him down. Um, yeah, let's go for Thunder Punch. We can get some super effective damage and hopefully a critical hit here. Oh, We do get both. It doesn't result in a knockout, but it will at least set up Gengar for... Charizard's remaining time on the field and the Tamer's last Pokemon. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Okay, so let's put in Gengar. We do have the speed oh, advantage, and we do have an it's HP advantage, Pokemon and he can't use Slash now. on us, but we can use Thunderbolt on him. So let's go for that. And that's going to knock out Charizard. And it's got a beautiful color, too. It's got like a amber-ish type color to it. It looks really nice. Oh, Kingler! Kingler's going to be the last one, and we have Thunderbolt. And Kingler, Kingler normally has terrible special, but Gengar has great special. Better speed. Ooh! That'll do it for the Tamer. So it looked like the only change we needed to make was to Gengar right there, and that made a huge difference for us. So now, with that victory, that'll catapult us into the final round of Poke Cup Master Ball. In the final round of the entire Poke Cup in general for the entire playthrough. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and take on the Psychic. Now this guy's pretty scary because all six of his Pokemon of course are Psychics, but even scarier is not only the Alakazam and the Starmie, but the fact that his highest level Pokemon is at 52. Which means that due to the level restrictions, he can send any combination of these at any time. So what I want to do is I want to slow some stuff down. Because um, I'm worried about Alakazam, Starmie, and Jinx in particular with speed. So I'm going to put in Electabuzz to lead off. I have Jinx because I can use Lovely Kiss, Ice Punch, and my own Psychic to my advantage when the opportunities present themselves. And I think I'll round the team off with... Uh, let's go for Gengar. It'll be risky because we're part poison, but at least we have Thunderbolt and Confuse Ray to keep us in it. Alright, so we're going to start with Electabuzz. He's going to start with Alakazam. So let's go ahead and get up a Thunder Wave. So he's going to go for Reflect. He's going to give us that first turn for free. So I definitely want to slow him down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to Jinx. That way I can resist his psychic attacks as much as possible. The problem is Alakazam, Alakazams tend to crit a lot. And he's gonna get fully paralyzed on the first turn, which is great. So Mega Punch is not gonna do a whole lot. Uh, I do want to go for a special, so I'm going to go for Psychic. What now? And we don't get the draw, but we do get fully paralyzed. Alright, let's go back for another Psychic, so we can... Oh, he's going to switch. So who's he going to switch to, is the question. Hypno. This thing is super bulky and has amazing special. That? So that's another thing we're gonna have to look for. We do get the special drop, but I'm worried he's gonna will switch out. Um, but I will try to put him to sleep with Lovely Kiss and hopefully get 
a couple of ice punches in. Oh. We can't afford to miss that. Now we're gonna get paralyzed. What a furious battle! Oh man, Lovely Kiss sucks so bad. It's more resistant to physical love. I definitely wish Jinx could learn Spore instead. We gotta hit it. Which we should have done the first time. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. Now we're gonna have a slow jinx for the rest of the fight, but at least we'll have lowered special for the time being, and we don't move. Uh, that's a wasted opportunity. All right, let's go for for ice punch again. He's still asleep, so we are able to move the second time. Now, in Generation One, Pokemon tend to stay asleep for a maximum of three turns. I'm anticipating him waking up on this turn, but he won't be able to attack, so we're gonna go for a lovely kiss again. And we are able to strike once again with a lovely kiss. So let's go back for Ice Punch. Hopefully Hypno will stay asleep, which he does. We are able to move once again. I think one more Ice Punch will take him down. So even if he does wake up this turn, we should have Hypno beaten here, which he does wake up. We are able to move. And we do get the knockout on Hypno. Alright, so one left. We still have all three of our Pokemon. It's an amazing start. So, let's see. He's going to put Alakazam back in. Now he's going to have the speed advantage over us since both of us are paralyzed. So, I just think he's going to switch if we keep dropping his special. So, I'm going to go for Ice Punch straight up. Ah. We got a crit and a special drop. I'm just going to leave Jinx in. I'm going to have to leave Jinx in. What this? Gone. And two. That's how powerful Alakazam is. This is insane. Um, I'm gonna put in Gengar again. It's gonna be risky. It's gonna be super risky. Uh, but if I can confuse him and make him attack himself. Oh, he's gonna switch again. Well, at least we'll get the drop. Hopefully it's slow, bro. That's the third one. It is his Ekitor. I don't have any, um... Uh, I don't have any ice attacks. Um... I'm gonna switch to Electabuzz. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. And Ezekitor is going to attack himself. That'll give us the opening we need to slow it down with Thunder Wave. We won't be able to do a whole lot of damage with Electabuzz as a thing. And Ezekitor is going to attack himself again. So, I'm going to go for Mega Punch. Executor is going to be pretty bulky, but if we can land a critical, that'll be huge. What now? A decent hit. Ooh, Executor is going to attack himself again. Three. Neither one is confusion. A self attacks in a row for Executor, and we're just doing damage little by little, but it's starting to add up a little bit. What that? Okay, got him down to 78. He is able to move on the psychic by shaking off confusion. That will be a two shot against us. Let's just keep going for Mega Punch. If we can knock him down to below 51, we'll at least have Executor. Ooh, we got it! 
So Geng Gengar should at least be able to knock out Executor with Nightshade if we need him to, but Executor gets paralyzed on the following turn. So let's go ahead and keep chip chipping away at the Mega Punches. That'll bring him down to 22. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna try to get up, get some HP back. Um, I'm gonna go for Thunder Punch. I don't want to risk missing Mega Punch and then we can't knock him out with Nightshade. So let's just keep chipping away. And he's paralyzed. I think we're, we're free to go for the Mega Punch now. Yes, we do get the crit. Alright, we just have Alakazam left. We played this one better than I thought. But we still have to play nearly perfectly to beat Alakazam. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon. And by the way, every time he switches, his reflect goes away. Um, so... I can either go for Thunder Punch, I can go for Mega Punch, or Psychic to lower special. I'm gonna go and try to lower his special so that Gengar doesn't get knocked out with one Psychic. Let's get a special draw. Yes! Huge! So Psychic's gonna knock out Electabuzz. But hopefully at this point, now that we got the special drop, um, with Electabuzz's Psychic, we should at least be able to survive a Psychic of our own, barring a critical hit. Now let's go for Confuse Ray. I want to try to make him fight through as many things as possible just to get off one attack. Oh! He shakes off the confusion, but he's paralyzed, so let's go for Thunderbolt now that we've dropped his special by one stage. If we can get him to below 51 HP, we can knock him out with Nightshade. Ah, close. Oh. 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 God. We still lost. Alright, let's try it again. Man, we played that so well, but we still lost. Alright. We literally just needed like one critical hit, one thing of Paralyze, and we would have won on the first try. Um, I like what our team was able to do. So, let's go for... Electabuzz, Gengar, and Jinx. Let's try it again. Really, I think where we went wrong was missing Lovely Kiss on the first turn against Hypno. That's where we went wrong. He's going to start with Slowbro this time, and Slowbro's probably going to go for Thunder Wave. Um, so, I'm going to go for my own Thunder Wave to keep the speed advantage. Oh, he's going to switch. He switched to Alakazam. He's going to switch to Hypno. Yeah, um... I'm going to switch to Jinx. I don't want to lose Electabuzz and Thunder Wave. So I'm going to switch to Jinx. Okay, he's gonna put up a reflect. So just like Alakazam does, he'll put up a reflect and give us the first shot for free, basically. So what we can do is go for Ice Punch. Now Jinx is fast, so she sh she should get at least one critical hit. Ooh, there we go. Okay, they're gonna go for Thunder Wave. Now even though that's gonna paralyze me, because we have faster base speed, we'll still have a speed advantage. So let's go for another Ice Punch. And we get stuck in... in we get stuck, we're not able to move. And we do get a special job, that's not good. Um, let's try to cancel that with our own special drop. What'll it do? 
survive Not another psychic without a special drop. So let's go for psychic. What's that? Oh, we do get a critical. Still no special drop, but we do get a critical. He does get stuck and not able to move. The so let's go continues. for another psychic. Come on, we need a special drop. What's this? That was weak. Yeah. Ooh, down to four. What a furious battle! They strike fighting poses. And we're fully paralyzed. It's paralyzed on the spot. How's that? Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? Hmm. I do have an idea, although it's very risky. So if I put in Gengar, use Nightshade to take out Hypno, and he brings in Alakazam, I'm screwed. Or I could put in Electabuzz, do Thunder Punch, it may not knock out Hypno, and then I'm going to take damage if he brings Alakazam in. Um, so what my plan is, um, let's put in Gengar. And we'll go for Nightshade, oh, since we are in range. Because he's got 48 HP, Nightshade's going to do 50 there, because of our level. So he can easily knock out Hypno right there. Which is coming out. Now if he's in, he sends in Alakazam, I'm going to be in trouble, which he does. Oh, I mean, I mean, this is just an auto loops. Uh, let's go for Confuser. Oh, two HP. Wow. So that's definitely a damage range. Um, let's go for Thunderbolt. Go into battle Oh, Alakazam attacks itself. Alright, Gengar, let's get a crit or let's paralyze him. Ooh! Huge. We do. We are able to paralyze him. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to follow up with Nightshade. So, Electabuzz will, will at least have a speed advantage going in. Yes, Alakazam attacks himself again! So now we can knock it out with Nightshade. Probably the easiest time I've ever had beating this Alakazam, by the way. But we're not out of the woods yet. I think Slowbro is his last Pokemon, so we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, it is Slowbro. So, what we can do, let's go for Thunderbolt. Alright, let's get a crit or let's paralyze him. Ooh! Okay, he's gonna go for Psychic. My concern about Thunder Punch is that it may not do the damage that we need, but I'm still gonna go for it. Pokemon. It'll be risky because if Slowbro uses Thunder Wave and I'm not able to move, I'm going to lose. So, I'm just going to take my shot. Your boy is going to shoot a shot right here. Oh. Okay, Thunder Wave. Okay, that risk did not pay off. But, if we're able to move on any turn, and we don't get crit, we'll still be able to win. Oh, that is so close. We are able to knock out Slowbro with a psychic attack from a non-psychic Pokemon, and we do take the entire Poke Cup tournament. 
in round two. Oh my goodness. Yes. That took me far less tries to get through than I thought it would, to be honest, because this train is pretty hard. Um, but as long as you have like good moves to slow these Pokemon down with, and you can get a good speed advantage and some good luck, in all honesty, then you should be able to to get through this uh, without much issue here. But we are able to clear the entire Poke Cup for round two with Reynolds only with this victory. And you can see the lineup right here. They're all going into the Hall of Fame. Even Graveler. We were able to get Graveler into the Hall of Fame. Oh man, that was a fun episode to record. And as you can see, we do clear the Poke Cup Master Ball for round two. Oh man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to give this video a, oh, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook at Zori Gaming, where I do live streams as well. So anytime I do a live stream, be sure to check me out there. And with that being said, guys, um, the next thing we're going to tackle is we're going to tackle Prime Cup. We're finally going to tackle Anything Goes level 100 Pokemon next time. So be sure to come back and tune in where we will be taking on battles 1 through 3 of the Prime Cup Pokeball for round 2 in our next episode. So with that being said, guys, this is your host, Zori, signing off. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.